Yo, ladies and gentlemen, I'm MC Zinman, and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is going to be my second uh, epic mod showcase, and well, today we've got two ships and one rather epic mod for all of you, uh, all of you Stargate fans out there. Uh, first ship over here is the Harpy from the MMO Star Conflict. By the way, Star Conflict I've, play, I've played before, it's actually a really fun, really awesome game. And this is the Harpy from Star Conflict. I happen to actually own one of these guys, and they are pretty much badasses for heavy ships in, in Star Conflict, almost in Space Engineers. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, the Harpy. It's got a, uh, well, it's a long-range frigate and was designed for long-range support. The Harpy uses her disintegrator or guided rockets to destroy the mo uh, most dangerous targets from a distance. However, high power and long-range weapons come at the cost of armor and speed. That's from the description of the mod. So, yeah, as you can see, light armor, and it's also not very fast, but... Yeah, it's uh, the armament, uh, six small laser cutters, one cruiser rocket launcher. By the way, the small laser cutters, terrible, terrible range because they're not meant as weapons, they're more meant as tools. And two disintegrators are long range heavy weapons with an aiming camera, a small ship with a sniper rifle. So you may be wondering by this point exactly how you get into the Harpy. I'll admit it's not exactly self-explanatory. Uh, what you do will, uh, there's, yeah, there's, uh, there's this guy, this button here. So you, well, th I think there's another one on the other side too. So you press this button and then this uh, loading ramp style thing comes out and you go in the top and yeah, by the way, this is technically a small ship, so it's going to be absolutely horrible for polygons and and stuff. And it uses some small ship mods as well. So you come in, and right here, what was that? <laughs> Saw something on my screen there, but right here you've got your meeting chamber, or uh, your uh, meeting desk sort of thing with these three chair, or uh, five chair guys, so it's, it seats five crew, and then have a button terminal. Yeah, that's a terminal. Just because there's space over here and uh, it, it, it's there for, for some reason in case you ever wanted to have a, have a button terminal over there. But then come down here. Uh, by the way, this is on the other side from that loading ramp. Or it's on the same side as this loading ramp, uh, in case you well, were wondering. And then you have these guys, and these are, well, they're just random little, uh, they're just random little motorbike, uh, hover bike, space bike cockpits by Sanchindachi 666. I'm not exactly sure what purpose they serve. Maybe they're there to control the long range sniper weapons or something of that nature but so you come up the ramp here and this is a very small ship by the way very very small for uh for a heavy frig this ain't a heavy frig at all and here's your lone gravity generator your storage uh, it's got two big containers and one medium container for the pilot and the crew and another button terminal to allow you to control all of your systems and stuff and then over there is the captain seat so let's see how this thing flies shall we mm. uh, oh yeah it has none of the turning at all it can technically turn but it takes a dang long time and acceleration speed What's that? It's just now getting up to 
15 meters a second now 20 yeah it's gonna take it it's gonna take a while for this thing to get anywhere uh frankly uh, you know I, I have to give credit where credit's due because this is actually really cool to see this game because i have it in star conflict and star conflict something i used to play a lot but not quite as much now in fact it's been several years well years months rather that uh, since I've logged in, but it's actually really cool to see one of my favorite chips in that game make the jump over to Space Engineers. So we're gonna go ahead and hop out of the Harpy because that's pretty much the entire thing reviewed. The thrusters are red, I just now noticed that. But yeah, Harpy's thrusters are indeed red. And we're going to hop on over to this guy over here, the DFC Hunter Corvette, and by the way, this is actually a D the DFC Hunter uh, Corvette's world, uh, the world version. You can get this in a blueprint version too, but beware because this thing has a lot of mods, of which I'll put up on the screen right now, but yeah, it's got a lot, a lot of mods that you have to download first before this is actually a workable blueprint. So, if you're just in it for the cool ship, then you might as well go for the world, because it comes with this awesome, sick skybox of some planet. Is it, is it Saturn? I can't, I don't know. Yeah, so, the door right here, and you hop in, and, by the way, this carries on that sort of linear with branches, uh, sort of motive that Siri had going for. Hi Siri, how you doing? I remembered to paste you in her, uh, this time. And yeah, we're going to do something very interesting with you in a second. So just hold on. So I'm going to close the door here. And this is the captain's area, obviously. Uh, seats too. Seriously, my hand keeps doing something weird. I can't exactly figure out what it is you just saw it but yeah so this is the captain's area here and it's got an extra little stat screen there for some thing I'm not exactly sure but I think actually this is technically a protected captain's area yeah so there's no risk of you know just some straight bullet just coming in through through some glass or whatever and then just destroying all your stuff so boop and then jetpack off and over here down the staircase is the uh, AI computer core this guy actually wasn't completed when I load the world up so I had to go and complete him and then these two guys where you can control the AI core and uh, hi Hal it's you again Please don't destroy the ship. That would be horrible for you. Please, okay? Okay. You're not going to do it for now. Okay, good, good. Because I, I, I just wanted to make sure. Alright, good. Why is my hand all stretched out there? I, can't, I don't even... What is this? I don't even... But yeah, you come straight back. I'm be saying this a lot, by the way. You come straight back, and then there's your medical room where you can change your suit. Uh... Let's just have the Warren and Assassin. There we go. The Warren Assassin armor. And then come straight back. There we go again. You've got the bathroom. Can I please have the... Thank you. You've got the bathroom with a curious lack of privacy. Um, yeah. It, just anybody can see you as you're peeing or pooing. And that's... That's good. That's great. Just very, very private if there's nobody else on the ship. And then the sink, complete with, uh, complete with paper to wash your hands. And then over here, the showers, which are very, very cool. Yeah, by the way, the same shower model that was used aboard the Siri. And some lockers. It's a very, it's a very realistic looking ship. Like it doesn't, uh, it's not too fancy, it doesn't have plants aboard it like Siri did. And then here are your bunks right here. Again, 
uh, you've got the TV and the pull-out DVD drawer and everything, so, uh, yeah. Very luxurious amidst all this not luxury. And, yeah, so you've got, you can have a crew of up to eight people. It sleeps eight, and then straight back here you have your uh, your workout area with your uh, with your weight benches and that good stuff. I like how this one has the uh, has the actual weight bar sort of uh, put off to the side. This is a nice little bit of detail. I mean, the model author could have just easily have put in two of the same model, but no. Just a little bit of detail. White bench over here, lockers, and sinks, and a big old TV, and an Xbox One. And 2077. Uh, yeah, that may be the best technology right now, but in the game it's sort of 2077, so that's a little bit of an issue. Oh, wait. I just came up with something. Is hell. Connected to the connect. Oh shit shit. This could be this could be serious guys. Hell are you connected? To the to the connect Yes, I am. Oh Good, okay. We're gonna have to get this done. We're gonna have to get this mod review done guys. Oh man Because Hal is connected to the Xbox one uh, Oh shit 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 Okay, I've, I've got I've got to do something about this. I've got to do something. I've got to do something. Hold on. Uh, weapons, 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 tools. Uh, grinder, grinder. I need a grinder. Can I have a grinder? Uh, it's this one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. Hurry! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so that should take care of that for now. Uh, that was a bit worrying, quite honestly. Moving straight along, though. As you can see, we've got more space coffee, just like aboard Siri. How you doing, Siri? You good? Yep. Uh, you're going to want to stay there because, we're, like I said, we're going to do something really interesting with you. And then, yeah, uh, you've got... Uh, your fridges, your uh, stove, and your sink. All, uh, uh, all not stainless steel, all solid, whatever this is. And, yeah, uh, the central table seat the seats four, so you're going to want to eat in shifts, apparently. Unless you have two people a stool, in which case, uh, uh, that, that's weird. And then back here, straight back, literally a dead shot, pretty much, from the uh, from the cockpit, is your AI, well, not your AI core, your reactor core, my bad. And it's got the computers and stuff where you can sort of control it. Very cool indeed. And then, are these glitched again? Yeah, these, there we go. Yeah, for some reason, whenever you uh, load the world, these uh, these uh, these door guys are glitched out. Uh, yeah, so you've got some batteries here, a little non-interactive uh, info terminal to control them, uh, but you can actually control them right here with the K menu. So yeah, it's battery powered, so you're pretty much running a hybrid spaceship. So it's the Toyota Prius of spaceships, but Siri was too. Uh, so I can't exactly say anything about that. Now would you guys please kindly stop glitching? Right, yeah. And then back here, just the same old, same old sort of thing. You've got the info terminal, the two batteries, and the, the weakness. As you can see right there. I'm glad I'm not being sucked out into space right now. Going through these guys may be a one-way ticket when, if and when Space Engineers gets atmosphere uh, capability. Speaking of which, I forgot to close the, well, no, I didn't forget to close the airlock. The airlock was perfectly freaking fine. It was just glitched a little. But yeah, so you got your connect, 
your connector back there. Oh, by the way, stats I almost forgot. Uh, the uh, fixed front armament for this giant, beautiful beast includes <coughs> uh, two, uh, uh, two 25 centimeter RK6 uh, I40 or I43 uh, guns. Uh, four rail guns, four fixed heavy rocket launchers, and one auto cannon, CSD auto cannon, the real loud one from the first uh, from the first weekly roundup. And for defense, you've got four cats and one missile turret. And up here, by the way, more same old same old batteries, and down there, uh, uh, even more weaknesses. For atmospheres so yeah and then background that away again same old same old so I think that's pretty much it we are going to pop back up to the cockpit now and see how exactly she gets on as far as performance is concerned it's literally just a dead-on straight shot of it I love that feature I uh, that's really cool how got my eye on you I've got my eye on you better let me control the ship because there are people watching all right all right you, you don't respond I, I'm that that's that's a little creepy all right so how exactly do we get on by the way yes mass uh, 3,705,132 kilograms. You can see all the stats over in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, the, uh, power usage. Let's go and test that out now. Ooh. Mm. Could potentially be a little bit of an issue if you actually lost reactors. You know, if you actually lost any reactor power. I'm not gonna lie. That is a little bit alarming for battle scenario, but this is a more, this is a little nimbler than some of the previous ships that we have covered here on the show. So you should be able to get out of line of fire, no problema. Uh, also, reactors are outputting 175 megawatts. You got 109 thrusters. Uh, gyroscopes 25. So yeah, that's that's plenty for a. Uh, an actual real heavy frig harpy and um, it doesn't look like it actually comes with any fuel but not to worry because I said uh, like I said rather it runs off of batteries so all in all a pretty decent ship it actually combines form with function for once and is, is not really a bad looker, I'm not gonna lie. I do kind of like the more industrial aesthetic that this ship has. Because, it, you know, it's just something a little different than what I am probably going to uh, usually feature on this channel for, uh, for ships and stuff. So, yep, that has been the DFC Hunter Corvette. And if I could not miss the button, that would be nice. All right, so the third and final thing that I actually want to bring to you guys today, the Stargate mod. Yeah, now this is going to be incredibly awesome. Uh, it's, it's a little bit complicated to set up and control and everything like that. So um, I'm going to run through the instructions real quick here. Oh, by the way. Um, uh, the description. Now this is the hardcore version that I'm working with right now. That, not that it actually matters for this mod view because I am in creative, but uh, this is the hardcore version of the Stargate mod. Uh, there's a different version, the normal version that's more, uh, that doesn't require as many resources. Uh, do not use both of these at the same time, otherwise bad things will happen to, uh, Nasty Gridge Kalimin will come out and bite you in the face and possibly other more unpleasant places. 
and also your game won't work. Now the hardcore version increases the cost of Nagata in several blocks as well as their building time. So if you're having problems with this because sometimes things happen with this mod, it's, uh, it's not uh, it's, it's not exactly the most problem-free mod. Try deleting the, uh, the mod and reloading the world to download it again. There seems to be a problem updating causing the mod to get corrupted right now. So, to, uh, to fix it, you're going to go in single-player multiplayer, delete uh, from your app data folder. You're going to go to your app data folder and then delete uh, space engineer slash mods slash uh, 307 and then you're going to want to redownload it in uh, de for decade server navigate to your updated folder space engineer decade slash mods and then delete 307 now, Supergate doesn't work sometimes, and the Puddle Jumper steers a bit weird. The Puddle Jumper, by the way, the uh, the ship, the, uh, it comes with all the, sh the uh, sort of blocks to assemble the ship, com complete with a block that actually tells you how to put together. It's literally a block that has instructions on it, so if you want to put together a Puddle Jumper, then go ahead. And by the way, uh, I am not a I'm not a Stargate buff so I don't know what most of this stuff is or means I don't know what a Nakada is I know what a Stargate is because I'm a science fiction fan and that's uh, pretty much required knowledge if you're going to be a science fiction fan but to teleport through gates first you're going to place gates on uh, onto several different spaces, uh, stations, or ships, but you can't have uh, two different gates, two or more different gates, on the same entity. So, I'm gonna just place a little station guy here. Control, well, I didn't want you to actually build that right now, but yeah, we're gonna have. We're gonna have it like that, and then we're, uh, we've already got a platform over there, so after you've built the station or the ship or whatever you're gonna put the Stargate on, you are going to place a DHD, so it's got its own little section here in the left hand trail, by the way, so it's um, Stargate right there, and we're gonna look for DHD, that's this guy here, we're gonna put him on the side because we're actually going to put the Stargate on the top here and then uh, and whack the Stargate onto the top. This is actually a super gate which, uh, which fits ships and goodness me is it massive as you can tell. We're also going to need a cockpit and a Nakata reactor or whatever they call it in here because we're going to need to rename the uh, DHD to the gate we want to teleport to so we're going to have that guy there and then uh, the Nakada generator is what they call it so the Nakada generator and you can go there and then we're going to go over here and basically wash her and repeat and yeah I am going to actually do something very, very interesting with these. Something that uh, Ecto Sage might actually do. Or I'm going to try to. It doesn't seem like the Stargate is lined up perfectly with the ship. I'm going to try to do it anyway because why the F not? So then uh, the DHD this guy is going to go here and then the Nakada generator is going to go there. The cockpit is going to go on the bottom because I like hanging. So we're going to go back to the first cockpit now. We're going to power this Stargate up. Uh, once I get there. 
And yeah, here we are. If I can actually control myself anything close to accurately, then that would be nice. So we're gonna open up the K menu. Uh, well, why don't we name this guy Supergate 1, first of all, and then uh, open him, and then go over here, and then we're gonna rename this guy Supergate 2. So then we rename that BHD to Supergate 2. And then that links these two guys together so we can teleport. And... Ah! Turn! Thank you! Thank you! And then... You are going to be... Supergate... Supergate... 2. So... Then we go back and we rename the THD to Supergate 2, and then press the button on him, and then these two guys are linked, and hopefully something will happen that will probably be all sorts of glitchy awesome. Unfortunately, it might damage Siri, but don't worry, she's a blueprint, so whatever. So as you can see, this DHD uh, it used to be in the slot, it's now renamed Supergate 2. And so what we do now, if I've done all this correctly, I would not be surprised if I haven't. We're going to press this button, and then bang! The Supergate is ready! Both of them are actually powered on, as you can see, they look really awesome. Yeah, this is, this is amazing. By the way, um... Regular Stargates, they're about a billion times smaller and they work the exact same way. Now, again, I do want to stress that this may or may not work, but just in case it doesn't work, then what we do is we're going to hit this and then we're going to teleport over there. So, yeah. And if it doesn't work, then I'll still uh, try to do what I intended to do in the first place. Which Ecto Sage would damn well be proud of. <laughs> Alright, so let's just hop into good old Siri here. This amazing ship that she is. And yeah, once we go through the Stargate, the Supergate, the Gate of Awesome, then, uh, well, destruction and chaos and mayhem will probably rain down on us all. <laughs> Excuse me, long before we even uh, touch the other ship. Uh, yeah, I think at this point you know exactly what I'm going to do. Because why not? Right? <laughs> I mean, we've got three ships, we might as well wreck them all because whatever. And oh yeah, that's what a Stargate looks like when you run up to it. And so let's have control of you, good old Siri girl. And toggle the view just so we can get the best view of the action so hope this works if not I'm gonna do it anyway so mm -hmm. here we go and bang so yep we've been teleported in we are glitching we're wow oh, <laughs> oh man I knew that was gonna happen but still what happened to the Stargate what just happened this the, the, the the Stargate just broke. Oh, that's awesome. That's actually cool. Oh, man. But we are a little bit too far away from these guys. Uh, can we actually aim towards them? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, yeah. So we are aiming somewhat towards them. I'm going to try to roll. Can I roll? I'm just going to try to roll flat so I can get a better aim. Oh, yeah. Okay, destruction time. Woo! Okay, I'm going to miss the harpy. Unfortunately, I'm going to miss the harpy. But this is going to be epic. This is going to be epic. Okay, here we go, guys. Ah! Uh, no, I hit the harpy. I hit the harpy, too. And... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. 
I just cleaned the crap out of that guy. So, destruction, chaos, and mayhem has rained down on us all. Let's uh, take a look at the damage. Or have I not actually damaged it that much? Okay, it doesn't look like I'm, I've damaged it that much, so if I could get stopped and turned and stopped and turned here, I might go for second pass, because why not? Inertia dampener's on. Alright, thank you. So, Harpy's been whacked. I'm not sure exactly how much damage I've done to the other frig here. Alright, so, aim a little bit downward, a little bit to the left. And a little bit like that. And here we go again. Second pass. More this time. More, I say. More, 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 more. Say with me, guys. More, 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 more. Oh, up, 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 up. And we have completely missed it because I'm a new. Okay, third, final pass. I swear, this is the last one. All right, turn, turn, please, turn, please, turn, please, turn. Yeah, Siri, as beautiful as she is, as amazing and awe-inspiring as she is, never let me say that she handles well. And third and final pass here, once we stop turning, maybe, possibly. All right, thank you, Inertia damp Dampeners, for doing your thing. And third and final pass, I don't care exact, I don't care at all how this one turns out. This is gonna be the last one. I just hope we don't miss this time. Uh-oh. I just figured out the problem. Uh, we have no side thrust. No, at least one direction. I was trying to figure out a better way to say that. Okay, there we go. That's a solid hit there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eat away that armor. Let's see that destruction. Let's see that destruction. Okay, yeah, that's embedded in me. Wow. Oof. Oh, yeah, that's that's good destruction there. That's good destruction and chaos and mayhem. All right, so let's try to get the two of you stopped. Or that, that guy's actually stopped. Siri's probably just going to continue drifting off into forever again. Uh, inertia dampeners on jetpack off. Uh, let's let's try to get out of here as quickly as possible so we can go and look at the destruction and chaos and everything that has happened before we wrap this episode up. Oh yeah, even the even the stair Ah oh, look at that a clean hole down straight through here to the ground level. Or is this uh, not quite the ground where am I? Where have I ended up? I have completely lost myself. Oh, down here. Oh, here's a hole. So, inertia dampeners off, jetpack off. That's a bit of distance. I'm not gonna lie, that's a bit of distance. So, yeah. Uh, how are you guys doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Uh, channel's taking off. Pretty dang well ish. Oh, we're coming in hot. We are coming in hot. Where? Okay, stop, stop. And you look like... Well, you look something like a ship that's seen better days, I bet. And... There's that station that I set up right there. Um, yeah, the AI computer core is intact, as you can see. Are you entirely intact? Have you literally just eaten all the way through Siri? Have you not done a bit of damage to yourself? You are completely 100% A-OK. -okay. Well, that's disappointing. Boo. I'm going to just go in here and make sure everything's all right. Uh, is everything... Still in place here, yeah. The, the bathrooms still lack privacy completely and utterly. Um, as, as do the showers. 
Everything's fine. This ship literally got off without a single bit of damage. Well, uh, that, that's... Well, actually, no. I take that back. This happened. It did a bit of damage here. Uh, in fact, a little, a little bit of shell damage here. Broke the conveyor system. Uh, destroyed... Oh, yeah. It, it did a bit of... It did, wow. In fact, it's done a bit of damage over here. We're probably not going to have enough power to even... To even move any anymore because the batteries are completely gone. So I don't know. Let's go. Let, let's go and check that out before we end this episode because it uh, it destroyed quite a few batteries. Uh, by the way, this appears this room that I completely skipped over because it's so easy to just appears to be an, an extra um, airlock with a, a camera there for some reason I, I can't remember uh, and then yeah let's go and actually have a look at uh, and see if the ship still functions as a ship that still functions as a ship but our power usage well is our power usage any higher I'm not sure but whatever it is losing those batteries could not have been good at all yeah, we've basically cleaned off the entire engine nacelle, as you can see there, and with that, uh, the batteries and just pretty much everything else. So it's definitely seen better days, but by the same token, it's come out a little better than I thought it would. So, yeah, that has been this episode of Space Engineers Epic Mod Showcase. If you like this video, then go ahead and bitch like that like button. If you really, really like it, you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hey, I've been MC's Engine. You've been awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. MC's Engine. <laughs>